So uh, very, very nice out there indeed. And, uh, well, <laughs> Painesville just turning it on for us yet again. Yet again. So this one's sponsored by the Eastwood Corporation. And we certainly thank the Eastwood Corporation for their terrific support of the racing here at beautiful Painesville. The flag drops 1.8 litre action on the water. We're away. Scott Rouse with plenty of boat speed down into turn number one. Have a look. I think we've got Craig Oliver in the uh, old man machine in this one. We got Wes Frost running out of pole two. Just sneaking through there. Let's hope he cannot spin out as he slots back into second spot. I don't think anyone's going to get the pace on Rouse today in the uh, the Cheyenne. It's Jimmy Jackson trying to sneak up the inside in the Avenger. Back into fourth spot is Sean Oliver in the old man. And Sean Hewitt in the Tower of Power. And uh, Sean still... On his rookie stripes here, so uh, he's just feeling his way around the course, but doing a beautiful job. And that big inline six-cylinder Mercury, he's also a local Gippslander himself. Down the front straight away, and it's all Scotty Rouse in the Cheyenne. Super quick little uh, Johnson, 12-inch mid with the uh, Formula One quick foot gearbox. That's why it's so fast. Oh, what did I say, Sean? <laughs> Sean Hewitt's a ski racer. Experts make the same mistakes for more complicated reasons. That's Jade Hewitt, of course. I'm sorry, Jade. Down into the bottom turn. There's Big Dean Gleeson. We'll talk to him in a minute too. Well, he looks a bit stressed at the moment. Up the back straight away. And it is all... Uh, Scotty Rouse here in the uh, Cheyenne machine the real battle going on Sean Oliver just running into four spot there Jade Hewitt up into the top turn So a real battle going, oh, Shawnee Oliver just getting a little bit loose up through the top turn there. Working hard. Down the front straight, though, it's all Scotty Rouse. He's just doing a beautiful job. This boat's just got that couple of mile an hour on the other boats. He just gets that break early in the piece and gets it done. The real battle going on for second, as we saw in the earlier race. And at the moment, it's Wes Frost in the Mercury Pro XS running into second spot. Stewie Jackson in the Avenger. Into third, and Stewie pushing very, very hard indeed. Then we got Sean Oliver and Jade Hewitt. Oh, Shawnee Oliver's had a problem. There's a problem in the bottom turn. Jade Hewitt inherits fourth place and says thank you. Oh, Jade has a bit of a hook as well. But he gathers it back together. And he's back up in the fourth spot and very excited. He's got the hammer down. So up the back straight away they go. And Shawnee Oliver. Just uh, something going wrong with the boat. Just mid-corner there. Looks like it's come good, but uh, that's cost him quite dearly. So yellow flags produced, and it is Scotty Rouse. Pushing hard. Dead into the bottom turn. Then we've got our stock standard engines. The Mercury Pro XS, the Optimax, just leading the Evernrude E-Tech there at the moment. Doing a great job, Jade Hewitt. In the Tower of Power. Dan in the bottom turn, he'd be pretty excited. He's inherited that fourth spot and he's not going to let it go. And Sean Oliver. Rounding out the field in the old man entry. So last time around the top turn for the Cheyenne with Scotty Rouse at the wheel. He's done a beautiful job. He's got plenty of power today. Getting the job done very nicely. Really enjoying these conditions. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Scott Rouse in the Cheyenne
He pumps the air. He's absolutely ecstatic with that one. In the second place in the Battle of the Standard Engines. And it is Wes Frost in the Mercury Pro XS. Back to third spot, a hard charging Stewie Jackson in the Evinrude e tech powered Avenger. Jade Hewitt comes through and gets the job done. He'll be happy with that one. And uh, he's getting closer and closer onto the pace all the time. And Sean Oliver after a uh, problem mid-corner. 